进去，进去。Is this the Gallagher Ranch? I'm sorry, do you speak -y English? Yes, to both. Where's Mr. Gallagher? He's in Fort Jones. We're here for supplies. Who's in charge? I am. Well, God bless Mr. Gallagher. Trusting soul if ever there was one. Mrs. Huey, you seem to be acquainted with that marshal out there in some way. Is that what you think? Don't you try to convince me otherwise. I know people, and I know what I see. Believe what you want. Well, I believe what I know. But what I don't know is how you know Moses Burke. Why would you trust anything that I say? Self-preservation. Because if he's really a lone man, then he's the only thing standing between you and me, and you'd have every reason to tell me. But if you tell me that he's a con man, and a thief, and a murderer, then that must mean that you believe he's a bigger threat to your family than I am. A bigger threat than you? Because I'm a man of quality, and I'm offering you a promise he won't. How good or bad a man is Moses Burke, Mrs. Huey? How big is your promise? It's big. My baby. No harm will come to it. It won't need a mother. <laughs> no harm will come to its mother either, but I can't let your husband know that until he squared his debt with me, and neither can you. And I've promised all I can. He isn't. Isn't what? A marshal. We were acquainted in San Francisco. He thinks I look familiar, but he doesn't remember me, I'm sure of it. Another yellow face in a yellow sea. God damn you. You know what happens to me if I shoot a federal lawman because of some woman's word? A man of quality shouldn't have to depend on a woman's word to see the truth. Have your head shaved like you should. And that long China hair in the back, where'd it go? <laughs> you changed it up to hide yourself, didn't you? And you know you people ain't allowed back home without your China hair. I'm home now. And you're in my home, Colonel. Well, finding your voice, that's a good start. Let me lay it out for you. Yeah, you may think you're at home, but we got senators back at our capital writing up laws that say that you people can't take our property nor steal our wages. Now I can help your family find a place to live when these laws come down. You are a shrewd man and full of anger. But I believe you're also a fair man. Just doing my duty. It's okay, I'm not really that angry. What's on your mind? If I told you there was no go here, would you believe me? Absolutely not. So if I were to tell you there is go here, and where it is, what then becomes of my family? No harm whatsoever. Well, then? You may 
Jake would have the dick in two places. What are they telling you, Ed? They ain't saying nothing. No? Yes, they are. Gotta listen. You, you had a dog to bark for you, my Mexicans could understand. But even they don't understand heathen speak. Fortunately, I've had some training. Hmm. He says he's never even heard of any stolen gold. You believe him? What about you, you believe him? Well, this simpleton here says that he just does what he's told and ain't nobody told him nothing. What does the lady say? I'm a lion whore, too mercenary and too proud to come clean even to protect my own family. Oh, We need to clear them out. You do it. Quick. Maybe I'm wrong, Bronco, but... All I know is... 12,000 three ways goes a lot farther than whatever ways you'll pull for this. Why three ways? Why not two? I don't think you have many friends. And the one you did have? I was faster. You gonna buy him a thousand dollar coffin? You think I wanna be out here on the edge of creation with a bunch of coolies? Now your powerful banker has you digging in the dirt. 